All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Aesop Grimm, and this is the continuation of my playthrough of the forest in October of 2024. This is a survival game with horror elements, and we're trying to do a uh, focus on the story. I have a, a good idea of the broader storyline, but I'm trying to kind of just uncover it for myself in game. I've never done that before. My knowledge comes from watching uh, lore videos and stuff like that. Now, if you'll notice, we are back at our at HQ. There's some things going on here. Eventually, so we're over here. This is where we were at by the shipping containers. We're going to have to come right back here, I, I think, real soon, and go back into the cave that we just finished up in, the Lawyer's Cave, in order to access what's called the Waterfall Cave, I think is what it's called. But I'm trying to do things in order with the playlist that I'm watching. And that says to go through the ledge cave first, which is accessed right over here through the, um, the chainsaw cave. So that's why we've come back here. Now in doing so, between hunting to get new uh, fresh meat that you can see here on the drying rack. And, uh, oh, I have lizard to hang up also. I didn't get those hung up. Uh, I better make sure that's not spoiled. And traveling back to our headquarters, it took a day. So this is, I believe, day 25. Dried? Yes. So we'll eat that. I'll take another one just to have, have one for the road. There we go. Okay. And I also need to fill up on blueberries. Oh, I'm full. Okay, good, good. All right, see you guys on the flip side. All right, guys, here we are at the abandoned... I think this is the miner's camp, or a miner's camp. I don't have any proof for that. I just... that's what it strikes me as. Although we do have Bibles on the ground, but you know... A lot of people would have Bibles. So, anyway... The, uh... Entrance is right here. So this is supposed to be the chainsaw cave, if I'm correct. Stand by, and I'll go check out the video to see what we do next. Okay, guys, so apparently uh, he starts the video off already progressed through the cave a little bit. So we got to go forward until I get to the room that uh, looks familiar to what he's, he's looking at. No, I can just drop down here. It'll be a large room that has some several tents set up within it. This is where the chainsaw is at. Pretty sure this is the room I'm looking for and that I'm not hearing cannibals. There's a lot of echoes going around, which is spooky. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to want to be going. And I remember whenever I did the video on this cave that I noticed that and was like, oh, we could blow that up. So let me check his video and make sure that I'm in the right spot. And then we'll get to work. Be right back. Okay, it does look like we're in the right spot. So I have to grab my dynamite. I've had dynamite on me the entire time. I just didn't see it. But it's right down here with the axes. So I'm going to grab one. Right there, okay. Get some distance. Alrighty then. Oh, that was a super short drop, but this one is not.
dead person. And someplace where they buried some supplies or something. We are going forward. Let's go ahead and just pull out a flashlight. I keep wanting to call this thing a torch now. Thank you, UK. Naming conventions. I blame the Canadians. All right. There's supposed to be things down here for us to fight. I don't see any of that. Okay, well, in lieu of having to fight, we come over here. Now see, this thing's still going. How long do these batteries last? Like, this all seems recent. But uh, we're gonna grab this. And here's the climbing axe. New item added to to-do list and to-do list updated. And that's because find a way to climb rock walls. And now it's crossed off. Both of those things popped up at the same time. Okay, well, I was uh, mistaken. We are not going to scale this wall yet. We're going to come around here. And uh, find a couple passengers and another uh, videotape. And we got to do it in kind of a roundabout way. So here's the first passenger. And there is cam tape is down here. But now that we drop down to get this cam tape, uh, there's not a way up. I have to actually Well, I hope he's right. That looks sketchy as heck. Dude, why would we not just take this rope? For him, he jumps off into water, but that doesn't look like it's full of water. I don't know if maybe they changed it. Oh, it was water. Okay. Yeah, see, I was worried they changed the game and that this was actually just a, a rock floor that I was about to let my dude just suicide onto. All right, well, we'll go across here. You can see I've changed out my canister. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and climb this. Snake around the edge here. Oh, babies, but no, no cannibal. Oh, there he is. Oh, that didn't go as smoothly as it should have. 
Mostly because I was late with the uh, Molotov. All right, we get replacement sticks. That's good because I'm going to have to build another fire. Let's take care of this guy. I want to burn these dudes for bones. Okay, guys, we got eight bones out of that. Okay, guys, so I need to make sure that I got credit for the passenger. I actually am not... I don't know if maybe I went to a different spot. I'm not seeing the passenger I expected to see. I don't think I'm in the right spot, guys. I think this is a different spot. So, we're going to continue down kind of skirting the edge here. This brings us back to where I was before I dropped down to get the videotape, and I think maybe we're supposed to just jump across. And this is where I want to be going. Okay, there's the passenger, 9A. You can, you can actually hit it like a pinata. Which is pretty macabre. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's pretty dark. Alright guys. Once again, I'm going to build a fire. I'm going to burn this dude for bones. And then we'll be moving on. Alright guys, I burned the bones. And I made more armor. We were really low on armor. I only had two left, so I was able to make three things of armor. And I'm out of bones. So uh, I also ate and drank some water out of the canteen, the, the water pouch. So now we're going to proceed forward here to the back of the cave and climb this rope. And we'll go through here. And that brings us out to uh, the ledge. I guess that's why it's called the ledge cave. Okay, out of sticks. This is also where the big crater in the earth is at. So there's some stuff here for us to find, I believe. I need to check the video, though. I'll be right back. Well, guys, uh, there is something here to grab. It's this. So this is that tree that sits up over by the yacht, kind of all by itself. There's something buried next to it. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. That tree. Um, he kind of cut part of the video out. So, what we have to do in order to get credit for exploring this cave is we have to kind of try to find where he went. Okay, guys, this is a jump cut, and uh, we're back out here on the ledge, and I, I know how he got uh, to the point in the video that he's at. There was a, a part that was skipped in his video, but I, I see what happened. So, if we come out here to the ledge... Number one, you see the way the daylight is? I think we might be on day 26, so we're going to go ahead and count it as such. 
because I'm sure we lost a day somewhere anyway. But you come out here straight here to the tent, you make a right, and you can follow this ledge around. That brings us to here. To this little site. Not a bad setup, really. Too bad dude got got. But this is, this was, this is where I would have set up too. Got a cave. If it was empty, I would have been, like, perfect. Okay. Um, we'll climb here. We're looking to complete... To get the game to complete us searching this cave. So we go through here. Maybe here. There we go. That was it. Now this will take us to uh, a, a rope-in entrance. But we know uh, we don't need it. Well, it's not that we don't need it. It's that we have other stuff to do, I think. Because he goes back down. But let's confirm that it did uh, give us credit. I know it updated the checklist. Uh, explore ledge cave. Hmm... Yes, so it gives us this. It, it doesn't complete it, but it gives us the task. Okay, guys, what we have to do now is go back to where the uh, climbing axe was at. So I will see you whenever I get there. All right, guys, here we are. Because I've exited the cave, the climbing axe is there again, but this is where we want to be. All right, so uh, we want to equip the climbing axe. Oh, here it is. Oh, um. There we go. Okay, up. And then over. Because we got cannibals to fight. not and that has been the weirdest thing you know what I need food whoops Man, they were kind of, there was supposed to be a bunch of them, really. I have made it further than I went in the videos, so uh, stand by for me. Uh, okay, well, simple enough. We, oh shoot, I don't know which way to go. I, I might have gotten turned around. I think it's this way. We just kind of continue straight ahead. Uh, yes, and that brings us to this climbing wall. And we can equip our climbing axe. Fasten on. Go ahead and scale up, and then we're going to go to the right. Oh, 
Uh, to-do list updated. You can see we're done. So we're going to be doing Cave 10 next, which is called the Waterfall Cave. Ooh, organs. And uh, that's right back where we were before, um, over by the, do, 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 do the shipping containers. So I'm going to wrap this episode up now. We're going we're gonna to exit here, basically. Uh, we're going to take a look at the videotape we found. Actually, I'm going to take us back to headquarters. We'll do a recap of what story elements I've uncovered. We'll look at that videotape, and then we'll close the episode out. I'll see you guys whenever I'm back at HQ. All right, guys, we are back at HQ. I want to come over here to the houseboat, hang up the turtle meat that I just butchered. Um, I also got to restock on meds. I am out of meds. And uh, then we'll take a look at... Uh, oh, I, I also want to... Well, I'm thinking about it. I want to drink this. I probably should have waited till the next day. That's empty. Let me see if I can equip it. And then fill it up. Yep. Okay. Feathers. Uh, I need to make more armor. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and store sticks. I do have bones in the basket to make armor with. We're about to watch this videotape, and then we'll do a recap on the story. I'll go ahead and hang up the leftover meat I got. Oh, it's just one. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, can quarter and lunch. Opening the artifact. Okay, I haven't seen that one yet. Hey, that looks like the cave drawing we saw a while ago. So that's the artifact. Uh, uh, looks a little bit like an Iron Maiden, maybe? Kind of. <laughs> Let's play that again. I can't tell if that's Megan or Timmy. Well, this is a pretty old tape. It's probably... I don't know. I don't know. There was a little kid there. Megan's in a wheelchair. Maybe that is Timmy. We don't really know what the date is on this video. It was a little boy. Opening of the artifact. Guys, I think that's Timmy. Dang, man. Because I kind of know what happens next. All right. Um, story so far. We crash landed on this island. There was kind of a, a short circuiting sound across the airplane. Uh, I, we didn't, I didn't catch it on camera in this playthrough, but I have seen that that left wing, if you're looking out the window, it gets completely sheared off. Um, we wake up, Red Man is kidnapping Timmy. We have been on the hunt for Timmy ever since. We've learned that there's cannibals and mutants on this island. There are what looks like three categories of visitors over the years. In chronological order, it would be the missionaries way back in, like, the 1800s. Then it's going to be the miners in the 1930s. If if I'm not mistaken, this is what I'm seeing, right? And then there's, um, in the 80s, uh, a group of wealthy people. Uh, because uh, poor people don't own yachts, Right. Uh, we have the Virginia here. We have a photo of her, and we also have a sketching. So the sketching, I think, is from way back in the day. And that's backed up by this 
picture right here, you can see it's the same style of drawing, so probably the same person. And we got Latin writing here and a crucifix. I believe that the missionaries wrote this and drew this picture, one of the missionaries, and same with this one. Then later on in the 80s, uh, because the 30s would be too soon, they didn't have uh, Polaroids back then. The 80s they did, and Polaroids were a big deal in the 80s. So that's where this picture comes from. So Virginia has been around for quite a long time. That means the mutants in general have been around. Um, the missionaries appear to have uh, fallen sway to a, an unorthodox religion. Uh, uh, I don't even know if you would, it's beyond heretical. It's, it's, I don't even know if it has anything to do with Christianity, but they, they drew a picture on the wall that looked like that artifact thing. And it sure looks like the skeletons of them that are around that wall are worshiping that picture. So they have a new religion right here. We have beneath the limestone. This would be from, um, the miners in the thirties. We're off the coast of Canada, we have figured out, the western coast, or we believe so. We have shipping containers crashed ashore that are owned by Sahara Therapeutics. I initially thought that those were on their way to somewhere else because this place looks like it's completely devoid of any infrastructure. Um, but then we got a videotape that sure looks like there is a... I can't see it from here, but there's a, there's, yeah, there it is. See that mountain in the distance? There's a facility built into that mountain that Megan was taken to. The yacht has little cartoon pictures similar to the ones that Timmy's been drawing. So similar age by Megan uh, Cross. It also has a severed head there. And on the beach there, there is somebody who was buried I don't know who that might have been. Here's the yacht. This is how we know it's in the 80s. Also, a dark-haired person who is trying to harm you will soon disappear from your life, and you will be extremely happy. I think maybe that's talking about Megan's mother. Uh, what was her name? Jessica Cross who apparently was murdered. Multiple stab wounds and head trauma found by her sister, apparently, who notified the police of the crime. This took place in British Columbia at 34 River Street. So that's something at play. Looks like that's it for there. Um, we have been finding pieces of Timmy's toy. Look, that's almost assembled. We're missing the right arm and right leg. We have also found several drawings that Timmy has left around the different caves. And uh, he's not happy, and he's witnessed some pretty horrible things. But he has pictures indicating that he is with the Red Man. Uh, we didn't see it in this playthrough. I didn't notice it at least, but the red man does pop up at the yacht. But whenever you go out to the yacht, he's gone. So, um, uh, not quite sure what to make of that. But the red man appears to have Timmy. And then we have these videos of this scientific place. I'm going to load up on these. Uh, where they're conducting some sort of experiments. I guess I assume. I don't... Uh... It looks like they're scientists. You know, like I guess it would be pharmaceutical because it's probably Sahara Therapeutics, right? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and sleep. And I think that's where we're at for the story so far. We're... We're pretty much being steered towards going to that northern mountain, but we're not quite there yet. We're going to be doing the waterfall cave next. There are some things to find in the world. All of that is upcoming. 
I need to make more bone armor, so I'm going to be using these bones to do so. All right, guys. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. More importantly, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode, where this story continues.